Creative Juices flowing. This tutorial is all about making your creations beautiful. Now, this is Connie's front garden. But what's this? It's had all the color, style, and magic sucked out of it. But not to worry, we can help make the garden pretty again with the power of dreams. Now treat me like I'm a kid watching Dolly Tubbies. I'll make some uh, fucking new new jokes. <laughs> Fuck up that vacuum cleaner, goddamn. Go wild. Use different colors to tint the path, rocks, river, grass, trees, and the little cottage. Oh, uh, have you fuck bucket? Has all the colors you need. Just open a color group and pick a shade or the tumbler color. Take some time to color your scene. When you're, when you're done, done move, move on, on to, to the, the next, next step. step. What even are these things supposed to even be? They aren't depressing enough. Much better. Now then, to figure out what to do with this hut. Good job. Now your scene is beautifully colored in. Let's add some texture to it. For that, we need to leave coat mode and go into style mode. To leave a mode, select the exit button in the top right of the screen. Or, you can use a shortcut. Hold L1 and press circle. Just like scoping out of the group. Now use the modes menu to switch over to style mode. The style mode icon is an S-shaped brushstroke. Slow the fuck down and shut the fuck up, you damn tutorial. I'm painting a house. Now, we ain't polluting the air enough. Hold up, we gotta fix that shit. Oh, yes, all the carbon footprint. Uh, what's this? A detail left untouched. This motherfucker said he didn't color anything. That's bullshit. I didn't color that window. He did. Well, let's make it blacker. It won't dark. Success. Well, I showed this tutorial guy how to make things look depressing. Wait, can we make it foggy? Or is that an option? I gotta find that option if that is anywhere. I want to make the world foggy, damn it. Shall put you down here somewhere. Oops. 
No! Quit placing more. Not enough density, not enough shit covered in fog. Make it bigger! Good enough. Shit. No. Go over here. Oh, God, no. Oh, my eyes. Why the hell is that high even a fucking option? Oh, there is no such thing as a zero for this. Ah, beautiful. Ah, I don't even know what the hell these little pebbles are. I guess I'll find that out later then. Sculptures and paintings in dreams are made up of flecks, and style mode is where we manipulate them. Thanks for finally clearing up what a fleck was. Notice how the objects in this scene look smooth. That's because their flecks are small and tightly packed together. We can make them more textured with the looseness tool. Select the looseness tool. It looks like a blurry circle. Now try using. Shut up. Putting R2 to loosen some of the foliage in the scene. Don't hold back. As you can see, loosening sculptures and paintings means their flecks become more obvious. If you think they're getting too loose, press triangle to make the tool subtractive and tighten them up again with R2. Or you can just use the left directional button to undo. 
don't forget to loosen up the river too. We'll need it in the following steps. Oh, uh, you mean that blood? When you're happy, proceed to the next step. Uh, this kind of reminds me of a meme about adults getting kids coloring books and coloring things. Puffy. I want my lawn nice and fluffy, damn it. Ah, now we're going places. Wait, is this how I let that over there too? No. Yeah, baby. Look at all that. Beautiful. Wonderful. Connie's garden looks like a lovely painting. <laughs> For a lovely painting, he says. Water has a reflective quality, so let's add some shine to the river. This is where the finished tool comes in. Exit out of style mode with L1 and circle, and head back into coat mode in the modes menu. Next to the colors menu in coat mode, you'll find the finishes menu. Select it with X. These finishes change the way objects react to light in your scene. Using finishes, you can make objects shiny, rough, metallic, or even translucent. Now you can choose your finish for the river. Let's see. Ah, yes. How about shiny wax? Wax finishes are translucent, and the shine will give the river a reflective surface that will catch the light. Apply, Apply the finishes, finishes before, before using R2. R2. Remember, Remember that you can revert your changes. Oh, look at that beautiful blood river. Or, or by using undo. undo. Oh, you can Try adding, editing, editing the finish, finish on other groups, groups and objects in the scene. scene. Continue, Continue to the, to the next, next step when, when you're ready. ready. Shut up. shiny now but something's missing it doesn't flow like water does that's because it's blood stupid in effects mode it's called the flow tool leave coat mode if you haven't already and enter effects mode the effects mode icon has some twinkly stars on it alongside the flow tool you'll notice other animated effects that you can apply to sculptures or paintings but for now, we'll pick the flow tool. Its icon is a tap. Or a faucet if you're from the US. Spick it, you shithead! X over the flow tool to select it. And use R2 to apply it to the river. Isn't that lovely? In effects mode, you can preview the flow effect even when time is paused. But if, but if you, you leave, leave effects, effects mode, you'll need, you'll need to, to click R3 to see the effects in action. 
When the when river's the flowing, flowing at the right, right speed, speed, you may, you may notice, notice something, something a bit odd. odd. It's, it's flowing, flowing the, the wrong way. way. Oh shit, it's a lot. another tool found in style mode. The cone tool. This mode, that mode, could you pick one mode? Then go back into style mode via the modes menu. The cone tool icon is some wavy lines. Select it with X. Now we're going to make the river flow the correct way. How do we do that? You guessed it. Hold R2 to cone the flex of the river so they go in the right direction. We're no longer in effects mode, so we can't see the flow effect animating. Oh, now you're telling me, asshat. And you'll be able to see it again. The key is to move your imp in the direction you'd like the flex to flow. A bit like your oh, look at that flowing blood. Very stylish. Shut up. Let go of R2 when you're happy with the flow direction. And now you can see the river is going the correct way. But if it isn't, just undo and try again. When you're happy with the speed and direction of the river, click L3 to rewind time. Then it's off to the next step. Beautiful home. Next, let's, let's do, something do something interesting with the chimney smoke. What the shit? Move closer, Move closer to the smoke so you can see the flex clearly. These flex don't look very smoky, do they? Let's change that. If you're not already in style mode, head there now using the modes menu. If he tells me to use the ruffle tool, that'd be kind of funny. It's the button in the center of the top row. Now choose a flex that looks smoky. How about the dots flex? When you choose a flex type, it will automatically select the apply flex tool. Now, hover your imp. Slow your fucking roll, I'm looking. I might have accidentally converted some of my trees to fluff balls. Wait, how did I look anyway? Yeah. Much better, I guess. Where's that other tree? I have a porcupine in my backyard. Eh, close enough, good enough. Continue. Over the smoke and hold R2. The flex will change. That's better. Let's inspect it now using the grab cam. Grab it with R1. And while you're grabbing, spin around it with the left or right stick. The paint strokes look a bit flat, don't they? You can only see them well from certain angles. We can make it a bit more billowy and three-dimensional using the impasto tool. In the style menu, select the impasto tool, then hold R2 to apply it to the smoke. Watch as the individual flex of the painting become more to see it better, use the grab cam to spin around the smoke again. I don't think I have enough pollution. You can also press undo and redo to compare the smoke with and without impasto. 
Damn it. Now that you've mastered Impasto, the last style tool we're going to use is the Ruffle Tool. The Ruffle Tool icon looks like a lot of lines going on. Give me some French onion dip. It will randomly rotate the flex so they're not as orderly. It works in the same way as the other two tools. Select it with X, then use R2 to apply it. And switch the tool to subtractive by pressing triangle. Ruffle makes quite a difference, doesn't it? I'm not a collaborator, it's not made by the fucking devs. Okay. When you're, when you're happy, happy go, go to the, to the next, next step, step of the tutorial. tutorial. That shit be flowing in the wrong damn direction. Go, I guess, that way. Oh yeah, glorious carbon footprint. Pollute all the things. Now that the scene is looking good, we should make Connie's cottage look more welcoming for her. We can do that using something called the glow tool. So head back to the modes menu and into coat mode. The glow tool has an icon that looks like a little sun. Select it with X, then move your view over to the cottage for a closer look. Now position your view so that you can see the door and the window of the cottage. Then hold R2 over the window in the door to make it glow. Go on, give it some welling. Oh, did I share the same properties? Oh, that's too bright. Let's press the triangle to make the tool subtractive, then use R2 to reduce the glow. No, my friend, you were onto something there. Hold on, hold up. Back that shit up. We're painting that window white now. Where'd that color wheel go? Is that as white as I can get? Or can I get whiter? Ooh. Bitch! No, man, you gotta let me paint this thing the color I desire. Fucker. No! Give me that back.
Don't you change the color of the light. See what you think. Too bright. Let's press triangle to make the tool subtractive. Then use R2 to reduce the glow. Maybe you could try tinting the window to change the color of the light. See what you think. Oh yeah, beautiful. Have a play with the glow tool, and then move on to the next step when you're ready. What happens if I glow tool this thingy? Oh, baby. Maybe reduce that a little. There is such a thing as too much fog. Ah, oh, yes. Now we're cooking with fire. I don't think they'll let me put them in here. Yeah, I really don't think they would let me put them in because, you know, this is a tutorial, so I can't have fun and import a model of Pyramid Head into the world. All right, continue about making my life boring. Get faster. To see, we can use a special trick. Special trick, you say? To open the menu and then take a look in the show hide section. The show hide icon looks like an open eye. It can be found in most of the modes menus. In the show hide menu, you can make all sorts of different objects visible or invisible. It only works in edit mode, so your scene will still look the same in play mode. Some of them are on by default, and some are switched off. Coat, style, and effects is one of the options which is on by default. Its icon is a combination of the icons for all three of those modes. Try turning it off by pressing X over it. Wow, what an amazing difference. That shows you how... Hold that thought. How do I hide that fog though? Look at this colorless river flowing with blood. Beautiful. Okay, whatever. What's this guy have to say now? Using code style and effects. You can make even the most boring block come alive. Nope, save all that. Using the tools and see what you can come up with. When you're finished, go to play mode in the options menu and walk Connie into her beautiful new home. This will complete the tutorial. It will, huh? Connie, where are you? Oh. Fun fact, I can't see the world. So... You there.
Oh, alright. That was a glow effect. So, cut my glow. Found the door. Lost my retinas. <laughs> 